And the Federal Reserve expected to hike its key rate this week. We've been talking about it uh, in one of the most widely telegraphed policy moves in recent times. The former vice chairman of Goldman Sachs China says Beijing may be planning to make its own tightening in response to that. Ji Ming Ha says a rate rise could put pressure on the yuan, encouraging more capital outflows. I think the impact on China is obvious. First, the uh, uh, China's exchange rate could face somewhat downward pressure, given that the rates in the U.S. are going to be higher. And uh, secondly, the, 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 this could uh, encourage further capital outflows to seek higher returns uh, outside of China. So I think China, in response to the U.S. Fed tightening or normalization of U.S. monetary policy, also needs to somewhat synchronize its own monetary policy with the Fed by raising its, uh, uh, by withdrawing monetary stimulus from the economy. Well, this seem, seems to have been the pattern. People, a uh, big story on Bloomberg saying, watch the Fed, but then just see how long it takes for the People's Bank of China to take its steps. Yeah. China, actually, uh, from the beginning of this year, uh, has already taken some steps um, by lifting the uh, uh, short-term money market rates. Uh, also, uh, the CBRC, the Chinese Regu Bank Regulatory Commission, has also sp stepped up regulatory uh, oversight on the banks on borrowing practices. So that actually served as a regulatory tightening, if you like, of the overall credit policy in China. Is that having a desired effect? That does. That's a good question. The side effect is, uh, of course, you know, in the past few uh, months, the Chinese Asia market is not doing um, very well um, compared to the U.S. or compared to Hong Kong. The Asia, Asia market is, uh, is uh, quite weak. Uh, I think that's a side effect of monetary tightening or regulatory tightening. Yeah. I want to ask you also about um, exchange rate policy, because I know you are a proponent of China moving to a system where the market controls more where the exchange rate is. However, right now the market's kind of wondering, what about a new formula to calculate the yeah. yuan fixing, uh, a belief now that uh, policies are taking a hand in the offshore yuan market, and that capital controls have been hardened. So how yes. does that jibe with uh, any desire to move to a more freely floating exchange rate that the market sets? Right. Uh, I, I think if we uh, think about what was happening 10 years ago, I think China should have learned a lesson now. Ten years ago, when China's renminbi faced a very strong appreciation pressure, uh, China probably intervened a lot to prevent such appreciation from taking place. Um, as a result of that, we saw property price bubble uh, skyrocketing in China, and also uh, credit uh, expansion was too rapid, leading to debt problems, and, uh, or you know that could be a major financial risks going forward. So the lesson from 10 years ago is when the market forces drive up the direct one direction of the exchange rate, just, just let it move to, into that direction. Don't intervene it. Uh, just, you know, sometimes policymakers would like to make the policy uh, kind of a, you know, accommodate the political needs for uh, for its monetary policy, I think that 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 is a mistake, and sometimes policymakers would take a opportunistic approach to its reforms. That is also a mistake. Let the market play decisive role is a policy enshrined by the Chinese Communist Party's 18th Congress.